Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to be going ahead and sitting down and talk to you guys about Reading's recent retained and release list. Now as you can see we've got a little bit of a different background here today. Uh, currently away uh, with the missus. Uh, she's currently uh, holding the camera so thank you to her. Uh, and we're going to be visiting her family so yeah going to be a little bit of a different setup. Um, but yeah thought I'd bring you this content anyway. We're a little bit back at the hotel. Um, so yeah why not go ahead and do this. So I've got my laptop just underneath me me here uh, so we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the recent uh, releases and um, contract extensions that Reading have gone ahead and announced. So the first thing on the article itself was that Nesta Guinness Walker will be staying at Reading next season. Personally I'm very happy about this. I thought last year he was very good. I think in League One attacking wise he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, playing in a left wing back role definitely suits Guinness Walker more than the defensive side of things and I think if we've got Chris Wilder coming to the club that's going to be something that can be a massive asset for Reading next season. Um, he didn't actually sign a new deal. There was actually a trigger in his uh, contract that he currently had right now. Um, it was extended by one year uh, so yeah we'll see Guinness Walker again for another year in RG2. Uh, another player that was going to go ahead and announced uh, that Reading have signed a, well announced to that they've tried to offer a new deal to him is Amadou and Bengu. Uh, the under 21 Senegalese player uh, was offered a two-year contract at Reading after signing one last year. I thought he signed an 18-month deal in January so not really too sure what's going on here. I think that was what was announced anyway. I don't think he signed a six-month deal um, so interested to find out what happens there. I know he was on Watford's radar towards January last year and he signed another contract at Reading. Personally might be a little bit too good for League One so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Someone who is definitely too good for League One is Reading veteran uh, Yaku Meite. He's been at the club now for seven years uh, and he's actually in discussions with the club to sign a new contract. Well, I think this would be absolutely massive. Uh, if Yaku Meite goes ahead and signs a new deal, that is huge for Reading. He's too good for League One. So if he stays with the club when we're in League One, I think this could be a fantastic move. Listen, he's a great player. Better probably on the wing than he is up front. But if he's playing in a front two... Look, if that's who we've got next year, Chris Wilder, it could be a very successful season for Meite. But still, either way, I think in League One, he will do absolute bits. Uh, it was also announced that Junior Hoylet has been offered a new deal as well. I think in League One, I think that's a very good player to have around. He can play left wing back or right wing back. He can play out on the wings as well. Um, so I think Hoylet is another good pickup in League One. Players that were announced to be released though from their contracts was Scott Dan, Luke Southwood, Shane Long, Liam Moore, Lucas Wow, and Dayan Tetek. The only ones I've got a little bit of a concern about with these are the Southwood and Tetek expirations. I think Southwood probably could have been someone who we could rely on in League One. Uh, and Tetek as well I think is a little bit unfair. Yes, he's a little bit injury prone, um, but I think he's a decent player. Uh, so I feel a little bit bad for him after us releasing him. Maybe could have offered him like a one-year deal to see whether he'd come back from his injury or not. With the others though, I think it was their time to go. Scott Dan's not really been good enough. Shane Long's retiring. Liam Moore's injury prone too much uh, and probably shouldn't have been at Reading anyway at this point. Uh, Lucas Wow, look, apparently there's attitude issues. There's a lot going on behind the scenes with him. So, Joao, I'm kind of glad he's gone at this point. Um, yeah, and that's the other players that we dealt with. In terms of loan players as well, they've all been confirmed to go back to their parent clubs for now. We've got the likes of Jeff Hendrick, Mamadou Loom, Joe Lumley, Baba Rahman, Tyrese Fauna and Kasari Kasedi. Uh, personally, I would like to see Joe Lumley and Tyrese Fauna return next season. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Uh, we would, there was rumours that there was a seven-figure fee that Reading would be playing for Tyrese Fauna of around £1 million. Pounds. Don't think that's going to happen now we're in League One. And with Joe Lumley, I think he's a very decent championship goalkeeper. Uh, so will he make the step down to League One? Probably not. So I don't think he's going to be convinced to come down. There's been a few contracts as well at under-21 level. I'm going to leave the under-18 ones, but we'll talk about the under-21s. Uh, Kanaya Boys-Clark, who did play the final game of the season against Huddersfield, has been offered a brand new three-year deal. This will see him stay until 2026. I think Boys-Clark is someone that probably is going to be Reading's first choice goalkeeper based off this news. You wouldn't offer someone a three-year deal if they weren't going to be your number one. Uh, left back John Clark as well has been offered a one year deal with Reading as well. He signed last year from Port Vale. Personally did really like him before his big injury that kept him out for the rest of the season. Uh, so I'd like to see John Clark stay uh, at Reading as well. We've also retained the services of Hamid Abdel Salam, Adrian Akandi, uh, Harvey Collins, Matt Rowley and Michael Stickland. Uh, they've all had triggers in their extension clauses uh, until 2024. 
Uh, we've offered new terms to left-back Matt Carson, who impressed on trial with the under-21s last season, and centre-half Jarrell Dorset as well, who was at Kilmarnock last year. Someone who I personally want to see next year in pre-season. Uh, be interested to see how he really gets on. We've also seen that players be released from the under-21s, include Louis Bradley, Ethan Burnett, Josh Green, uh, Nahum Melvin Lambert, Kian Levy, Claudio Osorio, and Rashawn Scott. The last two are the ones that I've got the biggest concern about. I think they'll come back to bats in the arse eventually. Uh, I think they'll be two good players. So that's going to be it overall for the full retained slash released list of players in the under-21s and senior squad at Reading. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Personally, look, I'm happy enough with the list. Would have liked to keep Southwood, but I guess it's not in the plans. He's been here with multiple managers and uh, he's not really stuck to the number one position. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. My name's been James. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.